I done turned the lights off in this motherfucker. I turned the lights off in this motherfucker for one reason, God damn it. Some beautiful motherfuckers in the room tonight, God damn it. I seen all y'all walk in this motherfucker. I said, God damn, they beautiful in this bitch. But unfortunately, a couple of goons and goblins have slipped through with this motherfucker. They just slipped through with this motherfucker. I know they did. Now, I want you to look to the right of you. If you see a goon and a gob, I want you to point that motherfucker out. I want you to look to the back of you. If you see another goon and a gob, point that motherfucker out. Let me know where they at now, okay? Now, at the count of three, we're going to cut this motherfucker lights on the count of three. Y'all going to count with me? All right. One, two, three. Turn the lights on in this motherfucker. Oh, there they go. I see the motherfuckers standing there. Oh, yeah, there she go right there. God damn, you fine as fuck. Now, the reason I know so much about goons and goblins, God damn it, I, I married one. <laughs> oh, my God. I thought I was in love, man. Every time I come home, I put the key in the door. She take off running. Boom. I say, damn, why she keep running from? And the kids, Mama, did you tell him yet? Did you tell him what? Tell me what? She said, baby, if I tell you, you're going to leave me. I said, leave you? Why would I leave you? You got a kid? Only way I leave you, you tell me you're a motherfucking man. I know you ain't no man. We got a one-year-old child together. Now, what could you probably t tell me that could make me leave you? So, for those who don't know what a motherfucking leather rug is, <laughs> it's called a wig, okay? She pulled that motherfucking wig off her head. She had no goddamn hair on the top of her motherfucking head. All this shit was gone, man. I swear for love. All she had was God real. Oh, all they know the motherfucking corner, man. Look like Sherman Hensley in the motherfucker. I said, God damn, I done married George Jefferson around this motherfucker. What the fuck going on around this bitch, right? She said, you gonna leave me? Hell yeah, I'm gonna leave you. Some, somehow a bag appeared in my head. I don't know where the fuck it came from. I left this bitch and moved all the way to Las Vegas, Nevada. Been there 11 years. 11 motherfucking years I like this motherfucker. You hear me? So I get back here, y'all. You know what? I love my black women. I never dated outside my race. I love my black women. I just love my black women. For some reason, I just love me a black motherfucking woman. So I get back here from Las Vegas. I get. I say, well, you know what? I'm going to find me another queen. God damn it. Fuck this. I'm going to find me a queen. So I go all the way down to the wolf den. Yep, they got damn it. Went down to the wolf den. And how I know about the wolf den, my dude said, man, come on, man, fuck all these high, high, high ass clubs with these old bougie ass. We're we going down to the wolf den where they got low self esteem. Now, I said, no, we ain't going down to the wolf Low self esteem? What you talking about? So I, 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 I meet this woman up there. I meet her. We on the dance floor. We dancing like a motherfucker, right? She fine and a motherfucker. So this one chick walked by and said, you can do better than that. I said, damn, I looked at her, she had an onion on her. An onion is called a big old fat round ass. I don't give a fuck. If, if any nigga in the room, you might be with your woman, your date right now. If her ass walk past this motherfucker, we're going to find a way to take a peek at that ass. You know what I'm saying? She walked past, man, I seen that big old fat ass. I said, God damn. So we grown, right? We all grown, right? Now, I've been gone for motherfucking 11 years. I'm trying to get me some. So we get back to her house and she, I'm trying to get out of her ass. You know, I'm, I'm trying to get out. I pull her, you know, she kept turning the light off. I said, turn the motherfucker on, baby. She kept, kept turning the light off. Turn this motherfucker light. Why you keep turning the light off for? She said, baby, there's something I got to tell you. I said, damn, what the fuck you got to tell me? She said, I got a philosophy bag. I said, you a motherfucking liar. You got a philosophy bag. I said, sure. Sure enough, she pulled this motherfucking shirt up, man. She had a shit bag. I said, God damn. You got a shit bag on you? All this time, he dancing off some everybody in the club getting tipsy. She's spilling shit every goddamn day. All the goddamn flows, all over the. And, 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 and I kept smelling doo doo the whole time I was dancing. I said, God damn. And, 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 and in my mind, when you, when you had like a classy bag on, that means your asshole is sold up, right? That means every time she's talking to me, she's farting out that motherfucking mouth the whole goddamn time. She said, you gonna call me? I said, hell no, I ain't gonna call your motherfucking ass. Like, you lied to me. You played with my motherfucking emotions. Where your goddamn nurse at? What the fuck is you doing up in the club anyway called the wolf den? Where your goddamn nurse at? God damn. So I said, oh, you know what? I didn't give up. I kept hoping alive. God damn. I said, I'm going up here to skeets. I'm going to meet my goddamn woman. I'm, I'm determined to meet me a goddamn woman. You know what I'm saying? So I meet this one chick, y'all. You know, somebody told me don't tell this joke, but I got to tell this motherfucking joke right here. I got to tell it. Can I tell it? Can I tell this motherfucker? All right, I meet, meet the girl up there. I ain't going to say no name. No name. I met her up there, and once again, we grown, right? I'm trying to get me some. I've been here three months, ain't got none yet. So I get to her motherfucking house, man, I swear for the Lord. I pull up, and she say, uh, it's somewhere. I kept turning the light off. 
I'm turning this motherfucker on. Why everybody keep on turning the lights off? Man? <laughs> turn the motherfucking light on. <laughs> she turned the light on. She said, something I got to tell you. I said, what the fuck you got to tell me? He said, I'm a cancer survivor. I said, damn, you're a cancer survivor. I get kind of sentimental because my dad died from prostate cancer. That's a sentimental subject. She said, you cut my titties off. I said, come on, don't, 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 don't tell me to cut your titties off. I love a nice, I love me some motherfucking titties. I, I, just, I, I just do. I love me some titties. I got some, a big ass set of goddamn some big titties. I lose my mind over some big titties. I said, show me. She pulled the shirt up, goddamn, they cut both her titties off. I said, dang. I said, dang. They butchered this woman so bad, she's like a 11 year old boy by the chance. <laughs> Lord help her. My dick's still hard. I said, I tell you what, turn around and hunt the shoulder blades up, let me suck on your shoulder blades. I sucked her shoulder blades for 45 motherfucking minutes. And then, like, I'm, I'm, I'm sucking on the shoulder blade, I'm getting some pleasure out of this shit because she got a bunch of like titties in the back, right? So, so I'm sucking, I said, God damn, you ever wash your motherfucking back? God damn, your back dirty in the motherfucker. You ain't gonna call me. I said, hell no, I ain't gonna call you. She said, why you ain't gonna call me? I said, I want two titties. You ain't got no mind. I know it's a bad joke, but God damn, I want two titties. Now, about all my fellas out there, I mean, come on now. Every dude in the room right now, how many of y'all want two titties by the round floor? Raise your hand, come on now. Raise your hand, you want two titties, right? Now, we ain't gonna leave your women out there. I know some women out there love titties too. How many of y'all love titties out there, right? Raise your hand. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, I'm gonna cut this y'all. Listen, but I gotta do one more thing before I leave here. One more thing before I leave here. Bird supposed to fly south for the winter, right? Yeah. This particular bird said, I don't want to fly south for the winter. Fuck that, I'm going to sit in here and read the paper. It got cold outside. He said, fuck that shit. Oh, shit's getting cold. I got to fly south for the winter. He takes off. Boom, shoot. 44, 450 feet in the motherfucking sky. He's flying south for the winter, right? Uh-huh. Mid stride, his wings freeze up on him. He fall out of the sky, 400 feet in the bar. Oh, bam, there in the bar. He said, oh, Lord, can you help me, Jesus? Can you just help me? Kyle walked by and shit on me. He said, oh, Lord, this ain't the fucking help. I was, this is not the help I wanted, Lord. But the shit began to melt his wings, right? He started celebrating and twerping and making all these little birds songs. A cat walked by, heard the noise, investigated the shit, and then divided the motherfucking bird, right? Now, the moral of the story is, Everybody that shit on you ain't necessarily your enemy. Yeah. And everybody that takes shit off you ain't necessarily your friend. Yeah. And if you ever find yourself knee deep in shit, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> you shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey, the bird shut the fuck up. The cat when it came in, the vibe his ass. If he the flew south on, like the Lord designed for him to go, he would never have been in trouble in the first place. That's, 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 that's my time. Y'all. Hey.